tonight we are playing Catan Seafarer's Expansion, Fog Islands. So yet another twist on the Heading to New Shores. This time there's going to be mystery islands in the middle of the gameplay board. Also in this one, you'll notice that the edge pieces are not the singles. So in Heading for New Shores and Four Islands, they were single edges. In Fog Islands, the board needs to be a little bit bigger, so you need two of the double edges. Uh, the other pieces here, we have Catan Chits. They are not used for victory points or anything like that. There's no bonus victory points in this game for finding new land. What we do is, I'm going to show you real quick the map setup. So as you can see, the white with the question marks in the middle, those are the fog islands. So you're supposed to leave that part of the board empty. We find that the hexes move around too much. So what we do is we put the hexes just upside down and then we put the Catan chits on top just so that we know which ones would be flipped over when we discover them. So again, we're not getting victory points, it's just a marker for us so that we know which hexes will get flipped over in the middle. So that being said, there's you can see I have some hexes down near me and then we have some hexes on the side. The hexes on the side make up the main islands that you can see at the beginning of the game. Plus the 16 sea hexes that are on the far end of the table. The ones in front of me, two sea, two gold mines, two mountains, two fields, two hills, one pasture, and one forest, these are the ones that will make up the mystery islands. So these will all be placed upside down and they'll be shuffled and we won't know until we hit them what they are. Again, these are the numbers that you use for the main islands. These numbers over here will get shuffled, stacked upside down, and as you discover New land hexes, a random number is drawn and placed on top. With the harbors, you're playing with the five two to one harbors, as well as three three to one harbors. Other than that, everything is the same. You'll need your ships, your basic settlements and cities. Don't forget the pirate ship. Largest Army, Longest Road, and Harbor Master, if you have the Traders and Barbarians expansion. And that's it. So we're going to take some time to get the board ready. And we'll be right back. As you can see we have all the numbers so you have the two main islands so when you're placing your first two settlements you can place on either island. We have the Catan Chits that mark the mystery islands. Reminder, you do not get those Catan Chits, they are not victory points, they are just marking which mystery islands that when you touch them with your boat, your ship, 
you will flip them over. So I'm going to just show you here. So you have your settlement and you start building your ships. As soon as one of the ships touches one of the corners of a mystery island, you will flip it over. I'm not going to because I don't want to give this one away, but this is the one that we would flip over. If it is a sea hex, that's kind of too bad for you. Tough luck. If it's a land hex, however, we'll take one of these. These are number tiles. We will place it on the land hex. Plus, the person who discovers the land hex gets one of the resources from that land. So if it's a pasture and you flip it over, you would get to collect one of the sheep. If it's a gold, you get to choose one of anything you want. You do not get victory points for building on any of the mystery islands. Um, and I think that's about it overall. So we will pause the game when we start flipping over some of these mystery islands. And besides that, everything is exactly the same. To build a ship, it costs one wood and one sheep. There's a lot of ship building in this game. Don't forget, longest road, the ships count towards it. And if you happen to flip up a road building card in the development cards, you may build two ships instead of roads. And I believe that's it. So we are going to roll, we'll place our settlements, and we'll start our game. to point out. Um, one, there's no twos and twelves on the board. We decide as a team that we like to take them out. The other thing is when we collect for our first resources, we do collect from both settlements instead of the last placed one. This game goes up to 12 victory points. And also, as you can see, you do not have to build both your settlements on one of the islands. You can build on both, which we all did, and uh, head out to the middle. So, like I said, we will unpause it again when we start hitting the mystery islands and show you how that works. Okay, the kids, first turn, they are building a boat. So they build their boat, the boat touches a mystery hex corner. We're going to flip it over. It is a land hex, so I'm going to take the top one from this pile. It's a brick, it's a nine. So not only here, don't forget, they get to pick up one brick. Because they discovered um, a hill hex. This victory, it's not a victory point, the Catan chip just goes out of play. And that is how you discover the island. So as soon as one of the ships, or a road, if you settle and then start building roads, as soon as that happens, as soon as it touches one of the corners, they're flipped. If it's a land, the number is flipped on top, and you take a resource. If it's a sea hex, tough luck, you get nothing. You
Okay, so one of the things that we haven't really talked about in the seafarers is that it is possible if your boat is not attached uh, in between settlements. So orange could not do it and red could not do this. But on each turn, you may move one boat. So I could move this ship over here. That being said, this turn I cannot because the pirate ship is here. But I just wanted to point out before we start connecting all the ships to the settlements um, that it is possible to move ships. So I was heading over here. There's no point anymore. So when I can, I will probably move my boats that way and go explore over there. But I cannot right now because of the pirate ship. to build some roads and just a reminder if you do build roads just like the ships you do get to flip up one of the mystery islands don't forget to take your resource and flip over one of the mystery numbers <laughs> say Lily. Ryder kind of left the game. Um, we never force our kids to play ever if they want to leave the table. He was just, he's having a night and he just didn't, wasn't interested in playing. So Lily kept up with dad, but in the end, it was where these mystery islands happened to be and the numbers that they flipped. It, Dad, the first thing you did was go across. You got two gold mines. One of them was a six. That I was left that, over here that, in the dust. That never happens. We never even let six gold mines We normally happen. don't let that happen, but when you're playing but Mystery it was, Island... It was random. And... Yep. When you're playing Fog, you never know what's going to happen and what's going to flip up. Um, so it, 
turned out to be, no matter how good you can set it up, it turned out to be quite a, Unbal not yet, it was game. very <laughs> unbalanced, um, but that's all right. Can't win every time. And as long as you're having fun, I think that's, that's all that matters. So orange wins, 12 victory points, and that's it. Keep playing and have fun.